Hi, this is Rob Garusho. I'm here at Aladonia, New York, and we're looking at sweet corn with NutriPlant SL applied in the seed furrow to develop a larger root mass and give you a healthier plant with better crop yields. Arms looking down the row of sweet corn. To our right, SL, which is applied in the seed furrow before the seed furrow is closed, adds root mass, root hairs to develop a stronger plant, gives you a more even emergence, which is critical with sweet corn. If you look to the left, you can see that the tassel emergence is not as uniform as the NutriPlant is very definite right down the row. And if you look over to the right, you can see how spotty the tassel emergence is. You got hardly any emergence up here in the front, just off the headland. You go back up on a hill, a little bit better emergence up there. And the same thing as you move down the field. It's very uneven. And we're only talking about a day or two difference in emergence, but that's going to affect the quality and what they'll get paid. Now we're facing the other way. Neutral plants on the left and the controls on the right. And you can see that the difference in the tassels, again, significant on the left has considerably more tassels than on the right. So we're looking right down the row. If we turn around, now we have neutral plants on the right, controls on the left. You can see, again, a significant difference in the tassels. And we're looking at the development of this uh, stock of corn here. This one has uh, the potential for three ears. You can see the primary ear here. And behind the leaf, we have another potential ear here. And another one down here. Three potential ears. And as we look at this row of corn, it's very consistent down through here, two and three ear potential on this corn. Same thing with this one. And a primary ear, secondary, and third ear. Go to the next one, same thing. A primary, secondary ear, and a third ear. The other thing we're looking at is the tassel emergence on the primary ear is more consistent on the Nutri plant than it is to our left over here on the check. Potential ear is a little bit smaller. So is the potential second ear and the potential third ear. Again, a smaller than a neutral plant. This plant here, here we're looking at the check right next to the neutral plant SL. Here's the primary ear. It's a little bit smaller in development compared to the neutral plant. Same thing with the secondary ear. The development of this secondary ear is a little bit smaller potential secondary ear than the nutri plant right next to it. And if we go down here, the potential third ear again is smaller than the nutri plant. And that is consistent down through, if we go to the next plant next to it, here's the primary ear. No tassel. And if we look just below it, here's the potential secondary ear. 
again smaller than the potential third ear on the NutriPlant. And if we go to the next plant, again, there's the primary ear, no tassel. And if we go to the second potential ear, that's small again. And so on the next one, there's only one potential ear. Right here.